I'm here to give you the top five, top five future champions in the UFC. I don't do top sevens, top eights. If you do a top nine, kill yourself. And I definitely don't do top tens. If you can't narrow it down to a top five, you're doing it wrong. You're adding a bunch of fluff. That's what I'm going to give you. Next champions. I'm telling you. I'm looking at your face. I'm telling you. These are going to be the next champions, okay? Listen to me. I don't have a crystal ball, but I'm pretty good at predicting the future, okay? If you don't know that, go listen to my podcast. And speaking of podcast, MMA Takes Podcast is on iTunes and Spotify and Google Play Music. <laughs> go listen. Number five. Calvin Cade of the kid from Boston, Mass., I know, I know. Go ahead and get it out of the way in the comments. He lost to Zabib. Yes, in a three-round fight. In a five-round fight, my guy Calvin Cater takes his fucking head clean off. Zabib gassed, okay? Zabib can't go five rounds. Calvin Cater, young, powerful, hungry, big. He's going to rematch with Zabib one of these days. Zabib's at the top. Zabib's in the top three. No doubt about it. He's a phenomenal talent. However, my guy Calvin Cater is going to rematch him one of these days. And he's going to take his fucking Abe Lincoln head clean the fuck off. Calvin Cater at number five. Coming at easily at number five. I know he's got a couple losses in there. I really want to see how he does with Jeremy Stevens when we get the fights back. I know we're under quarantine. Let's not go crazy, okay? I'm not going crazy. I'm giving this list. This solid list. Write it down. Go place a future. Do whatever you got to do. Number four. Edmund Shabazian. Now listen, I'm an Izzy guy. I love Adesanya. That's my boy. That's my dude. <whistles> Saw him fight live. I was ready for war. I told y'all. I wanted to take him out, but I was ready for war because he's Mexicano. Oh, yeah. Give it up for Calvin. Let's go. Number three. 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 His coach looks like Count Chocolate. I'm not going to hold that against him. His coach is a complete fucking idiot. I'm not going to hold that against him. His coach ruined Ronda Rousey's career. I'm not going to hold that against him. His coach has a mural of him and Muhammad Ali. I'm not going to hold that against him. The guy's a complete fucking idiot. However, Shabazian is a fantastic guy at 185. The dude's legit. Good hands. Good knockout power. He sends him home. He's a fucking cracker. And he's got decent wrestling, decent on the ground. He's got good chokes, good arm bars. However, cardio, low question. I don't think he's going to beat Izzy. But let's say Izzy hurts himself, heaven forbid, hurts himself, misses time. This guy could possibly fight for an interim title and win. He's really solid at 185. Number three. Brandon Moreno. Huh? Dude is talented. The guy is good. He beat Kai Carl France, who's an elite 125er. He just beat another elite 125er in Juicy F. Omega. He is tough on the ground. He's good on the feet. He's not gonna, You're not going to knock him out. This dude is the real deal. Quit sleeping on Brandon Moreno. Yes, he got cut from UFC. Yes, he got brought back. Yes, he has a couple losses. But the dude is getting better. He's young. He's hungry. He's talented. He called for a title shot. Maybe a premature because Joe B deserves a right to rematch Figueroa. But he wants Figueroa. He called him out. He's buddies with Joe B. He's trained to beat Joe B. He's trained with Henry Strudo. Trained with the best of the best. This kid is fucking good. Do not sleep on Brandon Moreno. I can see him being the 125-pound champion by the end of the year. This kid is that fucking good. All he needs is a shot, and he's going to surprise people. Also, you know, I got kids. I watch I watch kids' movies. Kind of reminds me of the, the kid from Coco, right? With the fucked up teeth and the hair and everything like that. A little bit, right? Can I say that? Am I allowed to say that? Number two. Amanda Hibas. You got to say her name like a Spanish. Amanda Hibas. She is fantastic. And let me tell you, boys. She's pretty easy on the eyes, too. Very, very attractive. Very sweet. Trains her ass off with a good camp. Amazing fighter. Right? This girl is going to be a champion. I guarantee it. She would have been my number one, but I'm sold on my number one guy. She is fantastic. I think she's going to win the title by the end of the year. I think she's going to mow through everybody. She's that fucking good. Look out for Manny Hebos. Get on the Hebos train. Shout out John Anik. Manny Hebos, clearly number two. Number one. Sugar Sean O'Malley. This kid is a star. I called it on my podcast. He's a freak. He took two years off. He got broke his foot. Then he got some steroid shit, which was weird. You saw it, cleaned it up. Now he's back. He destroyed Jose Quinones. And I know Quinones isn't a world beater. However, Quinones is a tough out. 
and you if you're an elite fighter like O'Malley is, like I'm saying he is, you take him out in the first round just like he did. O'Malley's a future star. He had a huge glow up. Look at him here. Now look at him here. The glow up is crazy. The swag's crazy. I love this kid. He smokes a lot of weed, plays a lot of video games, has a big following, but this kid at the end of, in, in the Shark Tank division. But by the end of 2020, 2021, he's going to be in the top five. He's going to be fighting the elite guys. He gets through those. He's getting a title shot. Could he be Cejudo? I don't know. But he's so dynamic with his striking. He's so good with his switch dancing. His ground game's coming a long way. Woo! Look out for Sugar Sean O'Malley. Look out. And look out for me on Twitter. I got it on the screen. MMA Takes Podcast on Twitter and Instagram. More videos. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell out of uh, notification. Am I doing that right? I know YouTubers do that in the beginning of the video. I'm doing it at the end. Fuck it. But let's do that. Let's help a dude out, right? Hit those buttons. Let's get it going. Top five future champions. Oh, yes, I did. This is Let's the go. MMA Takes Podcast. MMA Takes Podcast.